Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to tell y'all how to achieve this look. My little, my little signature puff. Always had its puff. Easy, simple, one, two, three. How to achieve this puff and how I fracture my ankle. So, let's get into the video. Today, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be taking down my twist and tell me y'all about the time I fractured my ankle playing basketball. It's a story, it's a story. So, to take down my twist, they say use oil, but I use this. I'm running out. It's called Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. Can y'all see? That's what I use. Cause or I use this, um, I don't know what it is, but it's like a pomade. And those of y'all that know, like pomades and stuff, I think this is also a pomade. But when you rub it, like it comes out like this, but then you rub it, it turns into like an oil like grease. And this one does the same thing. I'm definitely running, I gotta get some more. But it's really soft and it turns into like an oil. That's why I like using this. So my twists don't come out like oily and greasy or nothing. And I also have a towel. And I also use a big scrunchie. These are good scrunchies. They don't have like the metal piece that get stuck in your hair. And they really stretch and they don't break. So I usually start in the back, put the this one, the mimosa honey on one, rub it on my finger, rub it down and twist. And then you unravel. You unravel. And sometimes, not all the time, I'll separate it, but it all depends on what look I'm going for. But most of the time, I have to. So, if you take out a twist, you have to. Well, the way I twist my hair, I have to twist it the other way. I don't know if that makes sense, but I gotta twist it the other way. Remember how I showed y'all last time? I twisted around my finger like once or twice, so that that twist is that twist the roots. So we don't want no twisted roots because I'm going to fluff it out. So if I fluff it out with twisted roots, it's going to create a tangle. And we don't do tangles. So now I'm just running my finger through the twist. So let's start this story time. Let's put the rest of them up so they're not done. Let's so boom, y'all. If you see me looking, I'm looking in the mirror so I can see better. So, let me tell you about how I fractured my ankle playing basketball. It is just happened. Not just happened. Recently happened. This was February before Valentine's Day. February 11th, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. February 11th comes. I had a game. It was a home game. We was playing. I think he's playing St. Dom's, I think. Same not sure. Game. Don't worry about it. So, money goes to trap the girl and I go to trap the girl so we both trapping the same girl it was either she went out of bounds or she had to turn the ball over so she like tries to sidestep it so that way um me and Monty could get like like run into each other so that way she can go to the other side like go around us so it kind of worked and Monty steps on my ankle my right ankle, right? Money steps on my ankle. I fall on the floor crying all. When I tell y'all, it felt like I stepped on a grenade. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna die. It felt like the bone was out of my ankle. It was over for me. I'm so upset. Only thing I kept thinking was like, man, I can't play on that game on Valentine's Day. I was so upset. Like, playing for Valentine's Day and everything. Supposed to go to the movies, I hop with the, with the girls, all that. But no, I had to get injured, right? So they, the the what's it called? They're called trainers in basketball. So that's the people that they're basically like people that help you when you get injured or whatever. So. The trainer comes over there. He's like, you all right? Da, da, da. I'm like, am I all right? I'm on the floor crying. What you mean, am I all right? 
So he goes, he touching my ankle, and I'm like, yo, so touching my ankle. He was like, does anything else hurt? Does your back hurt? Da -da -da. I was like, no, my back don't hurt. My ankle hurts, bro. I don't care about nothing else. Check my ankle, make sure the bone ain't out the socket, none of that. So he checks it. Well, he gets me up first. Mind you, the whole team had to help me up because I wasn't going nowhere. It was crying hysterically. They was like, calm down. Because I, when I get nervous, I start breathing fast. Especially because I was hurt, so I was breathing extra fast. So I'm breathing hard, heavy, rapidly. Breath's going out like that, like that. Can I tell you, I was shook at this. I was so scared. I thought, thought my ankle, I thought it was going to be an ankle surgery. I thought it was broke. It was broke. I was gonna have to get a whole nother ankle. I'm gonna become part robot. They're gonna have to give me a whole new ankle. So they finally like, all right, cause at this point I done stopped breathing so hard. I'm still crying, but I'm not crying as much. So they like, like they coming out, like they coming out like you know how when you got used to get in trouble, you know be like stop crying for I give you something to cry about. So it's now that it's that <laughs> mad kid sniffle. So. I'm doing that, and they're like, all right, you gotta get up. So the, the team helped me up, so that way I could go sit on the bench, and he could take my, so I could take my sneaker and my sock off to see what my ankle actually looked like. I'm, I was playing in 12s, my white and red 12s. I would never wear them sneakers again, never ever, I'm scared. So that happened, I get, well, they're helping me up. I get to the chair, he take, he, well, I took my sneaker off, untied it, and he took my sock off. I was trying to take it off, but like, I couldn't get it past this part of my ankle. Cause one, it was swollen and it hurt. And I was like, yo, I'm not about to flex my foot to try to take it off. Cause if I flex my foot, it's, it's case, the bone coming out. That's how I felt. The bone was coming out if I did too much movement. Oh, excuse me. So I was like, no, let me not move too much. He was like, all right. So he just took it off of me. So he was like, yeah, you got to go to the hospital. Da, da, da. Mind you, my ankle is huge. When I tell you huge, that thing was like, it was like a meatball on my ankle. Scared. So he gets a, um, he gets an ice bag, puts it on this side of my ankle. Because this side wasn't really hurting that much. So he puts it on this side. I think it was this side. This side or this side? I don't remember. I just know. I put a picture like right here. I just know that it was a, a ice pack on one of the sides of my ankle. And then, bro, he wraps it like so, like with saran wrap. He just keep going and going and going and going. He is wrapping the life out of my ankle, y'all. The life, like he wrapping it like like leftovers from Thanksgiving that he don't want nobody to take. I'm like, yo, and he just keep going and going and going around my ankle, and it's getting tight because now the ice pack is getting pressed against my ankle even more, and he keep wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. I'm like, oh my god. So, the home game was at Bayonne, so the athletic director, she was on the phone with my mother telling her what happened, and my mother low-key freaking out, so they had to get me back on a bus because I live closer to this. I live by the school so it makes more sense for me to get back on the bus rather than her come get me and my dad was at work at the time so he couldn't come get me so that made more sense so now they gotta get me on the bus bro but i tell you i didn't know how this was gonna work so they holding me up i got somebody right here and somebody right here somebody got my book somebody got my book bag my duffel bag, cause I think what's the game? No, the game wasn't just school. So I had my duffel bag, my right sneaker, and my socks. Cause my right sneaker couldn't, it wasn't going back over that. I was like, nah, I'm not putting that back on. I'm swelling. So so I had my book bag, my right sneaker, my coat, and everything was already in there. I had to put. Did I put? I don't think I put pants on. I think I did. I don't know. I don't remember where I put sweatpants on. No, my mother made me put sweatpants on when I got in the house. So I, I walked out in my basketball uniform, had a sweater on, I think I had my coat on. I put my coat on when I got on the bus. So it was in, the game was in Bayonne. So it was a hill. So we had to go up the hill to get on the bus. So I hopped away most of the hill. 
I'm getting tired. My left leg is tired, hopping. I had to hop out the gym, hop through the hallway. It was a long hallway. I had to hop up, not all the way up the hill, but mostly up the hill. So, now they like, all right, let's take a break. All right, cool, I need a break, my leg hurt. So I put my right leg, my right leg down a little bit so I can give it, so I give my left leg a break. So I know, I, I know my left leg is mad at me. So I take my little break, right? And we like, so this the hell, it's like going up. So we like right here. I'm like, yo, I need a break. So coach walking by us, he was like, why one of y'all don't just don't get on? Why one of y'all don't let her get on your back? So I'm like, I'm, I'm a I'm a thick girl. I don't know if that's gonna work. That that ain't gonna work. So he's like, just do it. I was like, all right, bet. So I got on her back. We we went maybe five steps in this case. I was like, you twirling, don't drop me. I was scared. So then the girl that I, I, who back I was on, and then the other girl who was holding me up on my armpit, right? They pick me up and I'm walk. Well, they walk in and my legs is like this. So it looked like I'm giving birth. So they got me to the bus and then I hopped to the seat. I ain't go too far back because that was too much hopping. So then got on the bus. Yo, I remember the bus driver hit like one or two bumps and I started crying because it hurt. I'm like, yo, my ankle throbbing. This lady is hitting bumps for some reason. So I was crying because of that. And then I was like, how am I going to get around the corner? How am I going to get home? So, one of my teammates' mother, I love her. One of my teammates' mother dropped me off home. And then my teammate walked home. I was so grateful. I'm like, yo, I don't know how. One, how was I going to get around the corner? How was I going to get up my steps? I was like, yo, how was I going to do that? So, my team, my teammates' mother dropped me off home. And then my mother helped me up the stairs. I was telling her, I was like, Ma, this hurt real bad. I'm not gonna wait and go to the hospital. So she called the ambulance. The paramedics come. And first, I don't I don't trust them because they look old. Not old, but they look like they've been doing paramedic work for a while. So it don't really look like they could carry me or support my weight. He was like, put your weight on me. And I was like, I don't, I don't know about all that. So he's like, just do it. And I was like, all right, whatever. Cause I had to get down the stairs. They couldn't carry me down the stairs. Shut. So we finally made it down the first flight of stairs. So then we have to go down the next flight of stairs. My hair look crazy. Trust me, it gets better. So we get down the first flight of stairs. I'm like, all right, can I get a break? I'm tired. He's like, yeah, yeah, take a break if you need it. So I'll take another break. I'm tired. I don't play the whole basketball. Well, most of the basketball game. So I had to take a break. So we get down the next flight of stairs. They pull out the little gurney thing, and I get on. It feels weird because I ain't never been on a gurney. It was weird. And then they put me in the ambulance, and I'll tell you, they hit every bump on the way to the hospital. Every last bump cried the whole way there the driver come out he's like what happened i'm like dude i didn't even say nothing i just looked at him and then the other paramedic that was in the back he was like the bumps and he was like oh i'm sorry that i'm like yeah whatever you sorry you knew you knew what you was doing you felt that bump bump when you hit it sorry so like sorry gonna fix how i feel and dry up my tears so we get to the hospital, sign me in or whatever, through the emergency room exit and entrance. My mother there, she trying to comfort me because she know I'm the biggest baby in the world. So they put me in pediatrics because at the time I was still a pediatric patient. So they put me in pediatrics with the little dinosaurs and the zoos and all, stuff on the wall, whatever, zoo animals. So now I'm in pediatrics. Daisy's crying and everything. Nah, I just want to go home. So I'm like, yo, they got me here for babies. I know my mom was baby, but y'all not serious. You got me here for babies? That ain't it. So, I'm in there. 
the nurse come check my my pressure. I think that's what that is when you put that thing on your arm. I think that's your pressure. Pressure, vitals, or whatever. I was just so glad I ain't had to get no needle or nothing. Cause I was scared. I thought they were gonna have to put an IV in me. I was gonna pass out because I don't do needles. So she did that and then she asked what happened. I told the whole story. And then another nurse came. I done told about three nurses this story. It's like they don't speak to each other. At this point, somebody is impersonating a nurse. Cause shouldn't y'all speak to each other? And then the doctor came. He's like, okay, we're gonna do some x-rays, da, da 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 make sure it's not broken or whatever. They done turned my ankle, see see how I felt about it. I was like, dude, that hurts touching it. He's like, alright, so they put me in a wheelchair to go to the x-ray room. And they just sat me there. That's why I'll I'll be so upset if I ever get in a wheelchair and you just wanna sit me somewhere. Like I'm in timeout, like she did something wrong. But my feelings are hurt. So he sent me there, maybe about five, ten minutes later, another dude come out, the x-ray dude. So, he come out, he like, hi, how you doing? I'm like, my ankle hurt. He's like, oh, okay. So, he started, um, like, prepping people, prepping us for the, the x-ray to get my mother that, I think it's a lead vest or whatever that people wear in the x-ray room. So, he gave him one of those. He put, like, this block thing under my ankle, mind you. My, this this ain't happened. This happened like an hour or two after whatever happened to my ankle, right? So, yo, I tell you, he put my ankle on there and it hurt. Because he did it like on the bone. Like, this bone, the ankle bone, yo, it hurt. He's like, I'm sorry. I was like, whatever, just get this over with. I'm tired of looking at you. So, he hurried up and did it. He did it on his side and he had me turn it this side. And then he had, he had me flex it, whatever. I was like, dude, you're doing too much. So, he's like, okay. And he pushed me back to my, my bed where they had me. And a little while went by. And then nurse kept checking on me. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And then the, I don't know what it's called. The foot doctor. I don't know what their proper name is. But the people that do feet and stuff. So she's looking at my x-ray, she was like, yeah, it looks like it's fractured and it might be, I think she said my joints were getting bigger or something like that. It was, she said it was a space in my ankle or something like that. She was like, yeah, we're going to do another, um, another x-ray to see, like, a, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a stress x-ray or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but I know she put my ankle, it was like a mobile x-ray. So she put my ankle in a thing, it's shaped like a C. And then she put my ankle right here, and there was another thing right here. And it was like, when you push all the buttons and stuff. So she put my ankle, I'm in the wheelchair, so she put my ankle on the thing like this. And then the other foot doctor started moving it and stuff. He was like, I'm sorry if this hurt, but I got to see what your ankle looking like, da, da, da. So they did that. And then she was like, okay, you going to need a boot. I'm like, a boot? She was like, yes, a boot. I was like, I'm going to have you on surgery. She was like, no. She's like, it's just fractured or whatever. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna, it's gonna heal on its own. This, this, and that. I'm like, all right, bet. I don't gotta get a, I don't have to get surgery. Sign me up. What do I sign? I don't do surgery. I, I don't want them to put me under. I would have been nervous. Let me show y'all the boot. Give me this big boot. If y'all know me, y'all remember this boot. This button fills the middle with air. Yo, this big doofy boot. Right. So they gave me that boot. And he was like, You gotta wear this boot for I think they said four to six weeks. I think something like that. I know it was a big number. I know four and six is not big numbers, but they was big numbers to me at the time. Because softball season was coming up. So I was worried about softball season. I was like, Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to play softball because I have this boot on. So the first doctor didn't put the boot on right. She was so ready to leave. She did not put the boot on right. So then the nurse had to show me how to put the boot on or whatever. So she showed me how to put the boot on. The boot is on. She like, you gonna have to put some weight on it because you don't want to put too much weight on your left leg. And then you want to get dependent on your left leg and not be able to use your right leg as much as you used to. I'm like, all right, cool. I get you. Feel you, dog. So...
So she was like, yeah, you got to put weight on that. I'm like, all right. But it hurt right now. Like, this just happened a couple hours ago. It hurt. Mind you, he was in it for forever. When I tell you, I think it was like three something in the morning when they finally gave me my boot and told me what happened. Like, what was wrong with it? So she was like, okay. So she gave me some crutches. The crutches in the other room. I don't feel like get. I don't feel like showing it. It's too far. So they gave me some crutches. So she taught. She was, she was trying to teach me how to use the crutches. It took me forever to figure out how to use the crutches, cause I ain't never had crutches before. I ain't never had crutches before. So I figured out how to use. Well, she showed me how to use the crutches. I got it, and then we left. My dad picked us up, and he dropped us off at the house. So when I tell y'all getting up them stairs for the first time with that boot was a struggle. Getting up them stairs was a struggle. I was out of school for what two, maybe three days, and I think we had, I think we had that Monday off because this happened. Okay, Valentine's Day was Friday. We had that Monday off, so this had to happen Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Tuesday. It was, I think it was, it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Can't really count. Ain't been in school in a month. So, yeah. I was so upset. Got up the stairs. And y'all, my mother, because I've asked my mother for, for Chipotle for forever. I think I asked her for Chipotle for like two weeks. Because she, she got access to Chipotle. I don't got access to Chipotle all the way down here. So, that day, she had bought on me some Chipotle. So, by the time we got home, it was like 3 or 4 in the morning. And I was hungry because I didn't get to eat. Because I had a game. I I don't think I, I didn't eat before the game. Because why did I eat before the game? I don't know. I just didn't eat before the game. Don't remember why. But I usually eat before the game. So, I didn't eat before the game that day. So, I was hungry. When I tell you hungry, 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 hippo type hungry. I was starving. So we got there, like, four, got home, like, four in the morning, and I heated up, well, I didn't heat up my food, because I couldn't really walk on my boot, and I didn't really know how to use the crutches. Like, I knew how to use the crutches when she was showing it to me. Then I got home, and I was like, I don't really know how to use these things. So I was sitting on the couch, my mom heated up my food, ate my food, then went to sleep, went right to sleep. I was so tired. My mother stayed home with me the, the day after, and then she went to work the the day after the day after. Yeah, she did. And then I had to figure it out. And before y'all ask, I know a lot of people ask me this. How do I shower my boot? The boot is removable. It's not a cast. The boot. The boot comes off. So I took the boot off to shower. Under the boot was a sock in my leg. So, yup, yeah, that's how I showered with my boot. And I had to figure it out because I couldn't I couldn't put pressure on it the day after because it really hurt. It was still throbbing or whatever. It was still swollen. So, the I had to take the boot off to shower. And I had to, like, put, I had to put pressure on my right, my right ankle. Let me tell you, it hurt. Oh, it hurt the first time. But I had to figure, I had to do it because I had to get in the shower. You know, I had to wash. Ooh, I see my hair. This be a cute twist out, but I don't really like twist out. I need volume. Poof. This is cool or whatever, but I need me some poofs. So I'm gonna show y'all how y'all get that poof. So y'all, to get that poof, you need a pick, comb. And a big scrunchie. Cute. If your hair is like oily or something, or like if if you use gel in your twist, you need to soften the gel. I use leave-in conditioner. Help soften the gel. So yeah, I finally put pressure on my ankle and I had to, I went back to school that Tuesday because my day was off. Went back to school Tuesday. And when I tell you I have the worst friends. They all clowned me. All of them. My feelings was hurt. They clowned me, took by my crutches. And I had elevator access because I couldn't, you know, go up the stairs with the crutches. 
So I had elevator access. They was cool with me when they wanted to be in the elevator. So me and the whole video took my crutches. They had jokes for days. I was like, I ain't that. This, this, these boot, this boot gotta come off. These crutches gonna go away. So I don't know the exact date. I'll find the date, but I don't know the exact date. But um, I had to go back to the doctor for like to see how it was healing or whatever, cause a fracture here is by, heals by itself. My scalp itch right now, but a fracture heals by itself, so you can't really like do nothing to it unless need be. I was very hope. I was really hoping it was no need basis. Cause I think this is the week before softball tryouts. Uh, the one week before, or two weeks before. But I really wanted to play softball. That was my number one concern. I was like, forget the ankle. Can I play on it? So I went to the the foot doctor, and they was like, yeah, you healing fine. Da da da. So then he gave me this. He was like, you don't need the boot and the crutches no more. So then they gave me this, gave me this brace instead of the boot and the crutches. Ooh, it's a little tangled right now. Wait. So he gave me this brace. So this is the brace. You put your foot in right here. Your toes come out right here. Okay, yeah, your toes come out right here. Lace this up. This one goes down under the foot and then you pull it up. And then this one goes down under the foot and then you pull it up. And then you put this strap right here around the ankle once all that is done. So, mind you, the person that gave me the brace, like, I don't know what they're called. It wasn't the doctor. It was the person before the doctor and after the doctor. I guess the nurse. He told me how to put it on. Totally wrong. And I go to school the next day. Mind you, I'm I think I was late. So my friend come pick me up from school, cause my dad was driving me to school, cause I couldn't walk around the corner with the crutches and the boot. It was too far of a walk for me. Y'all see my volume getting bigger? What we gotta do is pick them roots. Pick them roots, so that way you get that fluff, that definition. So, I was late, first of all. The brace is on wrong, and I couldn't. He said I could put a shoe on over it. I can't put no shoe over that. Only thing I could put on is my Crocs and my G-Fazos. G-Fazos are white Air Forces, low top, right? And those had to be, like, really loose. Those are the only, those are the only shoes I could wear with the, with the brace. Mind you, I'm still wearing a brace. To make sure my ankle actually heals right, because I could I could see a difference between me using the brace and not using the brace. So I was wearing, I think I had Crocs on that day. I took the Croc off in every class, cause one, the, the brace wasn't on right. So I went to my what's what's her name, my. Athletics director, right? Went to my athletics director, and she, I, I told her, I was like, yo, I don't think this is on right. He told me how to put it on right. Because the box came with instructions. I had the instructions and everything. I'm like, yo, he definitely didn't take, teach me to put this on right. So we sat there all class period and figured out how to put my brace on right. Because that brace was not on right. And I could tell because it was uncomfortable. And it didn't really, it didn't sit the way it do now. So she taught me how to put it on. I put it on the right way. Put my croc on. I still couldn't put like full pressure on it like I do now. But I could put more pressure on it now than before. So she told me how to put the brace on. Finally put the brace on the right way. And I um still had elevator access. I was in the elevator. How my hair look? I like it. I like it. If this ain't poofy enough, I'll just go back and pick it some more. And I gotta pick the I gotta pick the part out. So to pick the part out, you see that part don't wanna go away. So you pick the middle, pick it up, pick it down, pick it sideways. 
that's how you get that part out till you get the part like in the middle and that's how i get my poof if i want to wear it in the afro might wear it like this gotta tweak it though because my hair is real iffy could wear it like this it's rare that I wear my hair like in a fro because it gets real hot under here. It's like I'm wearing a hat or a wig or something. But it gets real hot under here and I don't I don't like being hot. So take my glasses off. Flip it. Flip my head. Flip the scrunchie on my neck. That's why your scrunchie gotta be big so it go over your head. So you work it up. And you position it where you would like it to be positioned. Me personally, I like it high and a little far back. Not not far back. Push back because I can't see if it's too if it's too like you see this the things back here. If it's any further, I can't see. Cause then the hair is in my eyes and I can't see. So then from here, you know, I gotta put my glasses on because I can't see y'all. Oh, there you go. So here we go, separating it. So we're about to have my story. She told me how to put it on, I got elevator access. Yeah, I took my crock over every class because it hurt and I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. I think that's it. And I, I think I went to the nurse for ibuprofen or something that week because it was hurting so bad like I would get like pulses in my ankle. Like I don't know what that's about, but I would get like pulses in my ankle. Like it had a heartbeat and it just really hurt. So that would happen sometimes. But now it don't really happen as much. But I used to get dumb on my legs. I used to get pulses like from the bone part all the way up. So it would like hurt this way right here so he was oh back to the doctor part he was like yeah you could do physical therapy i think they gave me physical therapy for like 30 days but you know corona k so i ain't been in ther therapy but i should play softball on it though it's fine it just i just can't run too much because if i run too much and too hard on it it starts to hurt and i gotta take a break i don't like taking breaks I know y'all be seeing people shake their head and be like, why y'all shaking your head? It's to clump the curls together. The middle part is the is the most important part because the middle don't look right, everything else don't look right. So that's why y'all see me trying to fluff the middle up. Cause if the middle is like flat like that, you look crazy. I look like a little boy, like no. So you gotta fluff it up, make it look like something. Do it look like something yet? This part in the front, I don't know why, but the front don't ever curl right. I don't know if y'all could see, but it's like, can y'all see like it's a little bit of white stuff in my hair? Like a, it's just like a little bit. Because when I used, I told y'all in the last video, I had used a, um, a curling cream and aloe vera juice aloe vera juice flakes up like if you use too much i didn't know this because i'm low swell aloe vera juice flakes up if you use too much so the first time i did it it flaked up a lot and then i found this hack on youtube of how to get rid of the white flakes and it was like really bad the first time but it's not that bad this time because i didn't use it no more so the hack i found is to use this coconut oil this right here is to use this it's um a weightless hydrating oil mist i don't know what it does i guess i don't i don't know but it gets rid of the white stuff or i used to use leave-in conditioner but i feel like leave-in conditioner will do it the same the way this is you know gotta take the glasses off if you get oil on your glasses it's over so you gotta spray a little bit don't spray too much if you spray too much it's gonna look weird Spray a little bit, work it in, let it sit. 
guess I got another towel. Cause I don't like getting product on my hands because then it gets weird. Yes, that's the shirt I had on in the beginning. Why'd I change my shirt? I'm not gonna take on that. So looks better, looks cool, whatever. I'm gonna pick it. And I tell you a pick is your best friend. Let me tell you something. You can't overpick. Overpicking is it happens. I've done it before. If you pick too much, you lose the curls. If you don't pick enough, you don't get the volume that you want. So you kind of just got to play with it. See how much picking is enough. I look like Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. Oh my God. So yeah. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs>